Jesley, do you think those chairs are too big? Yeah, man, it's me. Feel a little lazy. Oh yeah, that's better. Much think? better. Great. Welcome to the music room. A constantly evolving show, which we're trying to get better every time. So please be patient with us. Today we have with us Justly Royal. I've been always under the impression that Royal had E at the end, like yeah. Royal with cheese. Yeah, Royal has an E at, at the, end. the end. I don't. Know. So what's the uh, origin of that name? I don't know. It's been a surname in my family. So as a person who's always heard that name, I don't find it very unique or like mm -hmm. very, you know. Different of yours yeah. because you've grown up hearing that. So a lot of people ask me, but there's no real story. Yeah. I just need most people. You yeah. know you from the Shatmanda, yeah. and you have also worked with the biggest names of the industry, from Yashraj, Dharma, Shahrukh, and everyone. But you also started as an independent singer-songwriter. So I wanted to ask you, what was your first exposure to non-Bollywood music? First exposure to non-Bollywood music was Lucky Ali, Cat Stevens. There was a phase of like crazy about Cat Stevens, and. Uh, Uh, and yeah, A R M R obviously, and Shankar Reddy, San Loy, of course, Amit Trivedi, all of these people. Did you actively seek out that kind of music, or did someone elder introduce you to that? Kind of no, song? it just I was just drawn towards that kind of music. I mean, I saw on one of your Instagram captions that you quoted Eddie Vedder from Into the Wild, which is a movie I love, by the way. Yeah. Me too. Into the Wild is. Again, wanderlust about traveling and everything. What have you learned along your travels, if anything, or how do you prefer to spend your time while traveling? So I remember, like, I made this song uh, from this from Kesri in Bali, and we were in a car. Uh, we had that uh, ukulele with us. I, I gave it to my friend. I was like, just, just play some chords, and I had this melody coming, and we figured it out, and that's how it happened. It's very important to sometimes, you know, like, uh, take a break from. Your immediate surroundings, because uh, you don't even know, like it's affecting you creatively. Speaking of jamming in the car, yeah, uh, you've done a few very, very entertaining covers, like <laughs> of Tanha Tanha, for example, yeah. on your YouTube channel. Yeah, and I would highly recommend you guys go check out that YouTube <laughs> channel because there are some gems in there. You should definitely check it out. I have seen in many interviews artists and composers getting the question about the type of music that is most popular in Bollywood right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. or that's called Yeh Chal Raha and everything. So, how do you feel about like claiming the audience, or maybe it's not? That's just the way things are. Oh, like for an example, Ho Gaye Hum Kaha. Uh, people have started listening to it now, like after two years. Yeah, I heard you saying in Rajiv Mahan's interview yeah. that now he started getting messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you don't know like what song is gonna take. Maybe another song will take five years, four years, or whatever. Like I don't know. But your job is to just create and put it out there, and then forget about it. So, do you have a process for uh, seeking out new instruments, new sounds, and what are the latest discoveries that you've made? A new synth, a new analog thing. I keep trying my hands on different instruments for sure. I think uh, I've tried to uh, do something different. Yeah. Like I started with Panchi. Yep. Uh, it was a Punjabi poem, uh, Shiv Kumar Batalvi's book. Batalvi's. Yes. And then, then I did Mayani collaborate with Swanan, which was very different this this mm. thing. I recently, I did Gully Boy, and uh, Uska we did a Midnight Mix, which was like a very electronic. Yes. Uh, 
uh, based this thing and we did like uh, this really cool animation uh, there was a bunch of people we got together and we did this animation there was a kid in tamil nadu oh. and uh, he does a lot of cool stuff so we just did it over the phone and uh, it came out really well so yeah like with every this thing i'm trying to explore a uh, new sound a uh, new ways to you know put things together yeah. but yeah but again like i i go back to my melody and lyrics when i'm trying to compose or make something okay. so that's the most important for me that's the essentially the skeleton of the song yeah. right rabi shergil has been like an influence to your music oh yes i love yeah. his stuff i, I remember love. like uh, buying his cassette the first one ek uh, kudi is like one of my favorites by rabi and also a geet hai jarda yeah and this song that started like pachi pachi ek minute mein shuru karna this is yaar mein yeah yeah gilte guitar gilte guitar yeah uh, i also saw that uh, you did uh, an interview recently with surya and chandan oh yeah on full volume tv hmm. their show is called the playlist hmm. go check that out you have like two singles coming out this year yeah and the first one you don't have a title for it yet i have two titles i'm confused but okay. i'll make up my mind sure <laughs> you can't even reveal anything right uh, now so far i don't think i can say anything, anything but yeah, at all. yeah it's a punjabi oh. song uh-huh. it's a single cool and um, it's uh, got a really nice melody and the lyrics are by aditya sharma mm. and that's all i can reveal and you did not collaborate <laughs> with anyone on this no, one no it's it was... it's like a solo this thing okay great it was great having you today just mm. thank you